It's a beautiful day here at Stowhill Wharf and here's a beautiful boat. Maythorn, a 60 foot cruiser stern narrow boat, fitted out by her owner very nicely I must add and launched in 2011. She's been really well looked after, she was last blacked with four coats of blacking in September 2015. She was serviced in uh, May 2017 and she's only just in June 2017 been repainted by Spiderworks up at uh, High House Wharf. She's a really beautiful boat. Good sized well deck, four feet long, some bench seat lockers with good storage underneath, either side of the well deck, and the two 13 kilo gas bottles are housed in the bow lockers. There's a hose in there as well. Into the saloon. This boat is fitted out in oak, oak face ply to the walls and the ceiling and solid oak floor. And there's a bed settee in here that fashions into a two singles or a cosy double. There's a boatman stove, very good those are, belt out the heat. A cupboard in the corner there. And storage under the steps. There's a little drawer under the stove as well actually for keeping matches and things like that. Three radiators on this boat, it's fired by the Cabola diesel system. That heats the radiator to towel rail and provides the hot water. So it's a cosy sitting room. Into the galley, nice horseshoe arrangement. The vanette, gas, hob, oven and grill here. Useful shelving. The stainless steel sink and good cupboard space underneath the work surface here. The fridge there is a Proline 230 volt fridge. So there's all, you, all that you need in this galley. Storage space, work surfaces. And there's the view down from the end of the galley. Really cosy. Nice side hatch here. And there's a few quirks about this boat and um, here's one of them. Just after the galley there's a little room which they're using currently as a spare loo. There's a porta potty here but this could be used, you could put a washing machine in here, it could be a utility room, broom cupboard. Put the dogs in when they're noisy. Quite useful. And into the bedroom. Six foot two by four foot bed. Lots of storage underneath. Beautiful woodwork. And a large floor to ceiling wardrobe here, giving lots of hanging space. Some cupboards over the head of the bed. Here are the drawers under the bed the gap in between. It's a lovely bedroom, good light, good sized windows, another radiator there. Down into the bathroom, eight foot six wide, there's the Dometic Sealand pump out loo, there's a ceramic basin over the cupboard there, heated towel rail, and the shower arrangement is over a bath, a four foot bath. Needs a curtain in here. The owner said he would put one up, but it hasn't happened yet. Need to chase him up on that. And on into the aft cabin. This room really does it for me on this boat. It was built and designed with his grandchildren in mind. So it's like a day room, but those benches do turn into single beds and it wouldn't be difficult at all to fashion the necessary bits of timber to make it into a cross bed. It's good storage underneath both. You could also put a table in here for playing board games on a wet afternoon. It's a really lovely room. And another floor to ceiling wardrobe. <clears throat> so there's copious hanging space on this boat. Really lovely, I love this room. Gives you lots of options. Another very good size 
cupboard at the back house the electrical instruments, but it could be for hanging clothes, putting your wellies in, wet bits and pieces. And opposite that is a good size airing cupboard sitting over the cupola central heating system. And out onto the stern deck, this is seven feet long. It's a really good size. Under there is the Beta 43 engine, lovely taff rail. Lots of space out here. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. She's a lovely boat, she does it for me. And that's Maythorn. For a full downloadable brochure and further photographs, go to www dot rugbyboats dot co dot uk